All right, man, I'm gonna be honest. We only have like five left in season two. And if I have to bury another person, I'm gonna be sick to my stomach. Not to me, there's not even that much to bury from him, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss. We have right and wrong part two today. And if it's been any indicator this season already, a part two goes very hard. It's been a sort of recurring theme. And every time there has been one, it's been one of those episodes where like my jaw was on the floor the entire time. But honestly, that's been the whole season. It really has. I hate to glaze Jujutsu Kaisen so, so much, but it deserves the glaze. I'll get my glaze and all over it. Every character, every fight, glaze everywhere. Anyways, we're gonna hop into it. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub. Let's get started. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Nanami told her to just get out of there. But even so. I don't blame her, bro. She doesn't know where her comrades are. I'd be diving in that bad boy, too. I mean, I would hope to be that brave. And of course, what does she come across? Who else but this absolute demon, Mahito? God, dude, this is like war torn. Oh, she went in right after Sukuna just like creative mode deleted everything. Oh my god, we're getting right into it. So this is one of the two Mahitos, the Yuji Mahito. We need to go back to like Mei Mei too, bro, and Ghetto and Boruto, man. I feel like that's gonna be like a permanent scar on Yuji now. He can look kind of sick with it. It's a weakness that he has to actually... Ugh! He actually has to care about citizens, man. God, Mahito is just a demon. Look at that smile. I love how they're both fighting Mahito at the same time, too. It's like we can cut back and forth between them, but it's the same enemy, inherently. So Mahito has to have, like, some of his power split, right? Are there being two of them? Oh, nice hit. I mean, she's pretty confidently like, like hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. The seven three sorcerer. Dude, his arms, it looks like a spider. But I'm only a double. Can't tweak transfigured humans. Ah, so there is some weakness. So she's being extra protective when she doesn't even need to be, but I understand why she would. Dude. Ugh. Try despite knowing it's futile. <laughs> this is the, the slight dodge. Bro, the coloring is beautiful. Hey, yo, that's some solid hits. She like raised them up. <laughs> oh, it's it, it it's very like no, oh, oh, what? Wait, that one took damage from what she did. Wait, big damage. And he knows. Bro, it split his face. She's a natural enemy? And why is Yuji a natural enemy? Because of Sukuna or Black Flash? Fell by... Oh, she knows now. Yeah, she sort of just nailed his forehead. Nice. She actually figured it out. Why exactly did he just take damage though? Because she... I, yeah, I don't know. Wait, now Yuji's actually doing some fat damage. He's taking advantage of it, baby. Oh my God, the throw punch. I've never heard Mahito panic like that. Oh my God. I like Yuji like hopping to it, not wasting time. Yeah, he's not gonna let this moment go by. Oh, oh I mean, kind of true. Aww. Yeah, he doesn't know the state of everybody else. Megami especially. Oh. The crazy part is even if they're able to take Mahito down, it still is like even remotely equate to what, what like it, it doesn't equal out to anything. He's dipping. There's no way. There's no way. This coward. Or he's trying to bait her in. No, he's genuinely just running away. This guy is actually shameless. <laughs> I just split like six. Which one's the main? Wait, he's actually running. Bro, Mahito is such a loser. He put more curse energy into a fake, yeah. They're eventually gonna meet. I think he's trying to recombine so he has his full powers again. Oh, he. Is. Oh, that was way faster than I expected. Wait, I thought he realized that whenever he realized nobody was doing damage. I guess he just assumed. Oh, well, they're just swapping opponents. No, he sees her. <gasps> oh, shoot. Wait, why from just that one? Oh, what? Did he grab her? Oh, no, he touched her. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just touching her. He could transfigure her. 
was a not what? What? Oh no, it's just a flashback for Nobuda. Oh no. Why are we getting a flashback? This is a horrible sign. Uh, backpack's a big commitment, man. <laughs> Kids say the funniest things. Yeah, we got a slight glimpse into her backstory originally. Like, originally meeting her. 19 in the whole school? She wanted to be different. Oh. Aw. Boys are so mean, man. Snot-nosed rodents. She's crying. <laughs> this was her friend. Uh... <laughs> she beat him up for her. Aww. She realized it was a burden to her. She's just watching on. Aww. First period celebration rice? Ugh, that is kind of odd. What the hell? Oh, this gets sadder and sadder. Why are we seeing this now? That's their secret base? It's just someone else's house. Oh. Saori. That name I recognize. I'm pretty sure from her original backstory, yeah. Yeah, we're like sisters, though, to be honest. More than friends. Sorry, Lee? I don't even remember. Was she killed? She moved. I mean, I, Nobara saw her as, like, her mom. Did she got to find Sayori? Originally? So she still had that friend Fumi whenever she left. Because I think originally we just knew of Sayori. I'm pretty sure. She wanted her to cry for her, too. Well, she did. <laughs> is that Sayori? Oh, it is. She went to visit her? Wait, is this right now? Shibuya is in trouble. Oh, okay. So that was whenever she still lived at home with her parents, I see. I thought she was more of like a mom figure. She just acted like sort of like a older sister mom figure. She still thinks about her though. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Bro, what the f man? Bro, what the f is a This show is so f nah, man. They're just killing everybody! They're killing everybody off! There will be nobody left after Shibuya! What is happening? They didn't even give us like the slow drip. It was just like Nanami. She's just dead. All of a sudden, one tap and she's just oh, she's gone forever. You can't bring her back. Dude, dude. As soon as the backstory started, I was like, well, just sign her away. Like, it's not even like I have time to mourn or anything. Because they're not even having these slow deaths where you slowly like start to have to deal with it. It's just like she looks perfect fine and then she just explodes basically what the f is happening like it's 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 such a bizarre feeling i'm usually sadder about characters dying but now it just feels more like chaos and panic it's completely different my god like i i loved nobody as a character i loved nanami as a character and they're just gone like you, you they can't be used they can't be fit into the story they're just gone how many more die how many more have to die like if we come out of this like if yuji comes out of this fine god forbid yuji dies like how mad is he going to be he's he's after this he's going to snap again i I don't even know the state of Megami, but he's actually going to just plateau and just honestly probably explode. It already took enough out of him to like basically see all the destruction that Sukuna caused. And then he saw Nanami right after that. And now, now Nobuda. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Shibuya just keeps getting worse and worse.